I'm here as uh, part of Sheffield Palestine Solidarity to offer solidarity to Palestinian people in the hope that should we boycott Israeli goods it'll have an effect on the Israeli economy, have an effect, a cultural effect around the world and especially on Palestinian people. Um, showing them that there are people around the world that support them and think about them all the time. Many of us are so concerned about what's been done to the Palestinian people, about the Israeli occupation that's now gone on for over 40 years. We're horrified at things like what happens in Jerusalem where Israel is ethnically cleansing tens of thousands of Palestinians from the city. We're horrified by the apartheid wall which is being built around the West Bank, around Palestinian villages and cities and separating villagers from their land. Just things like the fact that the fishermen in the Gaza Strip can't even go out fishing without being threatened with attacks by Israeli warships. And then of course the most recent horrifying thing when over 1,400 people were murdered and thousands and thousands seriously injured in the murderous Israeli attacks on the Gaza Strip in January this year. Many, many Palestinian organisations, trade union movements, women's movements, farmers, health workers, have called on ordinary people across the world to take a step to boycott Israel in just the same way as under South African apartheid, the ordinary people in South Africa asked us to boycott the apartheid state. So we're removing these dates. We don't know where they've um, been grown. They may well have been uh, grown in, in the Jordan Valley on illegal settlements. So some people are collecting all the Israeli dates and other people are now collecting the the um, herbs which also we believe are grown on illegal settlements. Yes. We showed these goods to management and argued that supermarkets like Waitrose should boycott these goods. While some protested inside, others remained outside to explain to shoppers that their actions can make a difference and ensure justice for the Palestinians. I had a woman come up to me and say, what a fantastic idea. Someone with a, with a small child, and she just came up and said, what a wonderful idea. Because yeah. you're not stealing it, yeah. but you're pointing it out that yeah. it's, it's illegal <laughs> stuff. Waitrose ignores the plight of the Palestinian people and buys its goods from illegal settlements that Israel has built on stolen Palestinian land. And we're saying to Waitrose and the other supermarkets should stop selling Israeli goods until Israel abides by international law. Why,